Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today, I am here with a dream and it's dream. I was at a college and I was sneaking into the college to use the library. I knew I had to know in this dream I was not a student at this school. I wasn't supposed to be there, but I to live my way right on up in there, okay? <laughs> Of that song by uh Betty Wright, you know what I'm saying? At the beginning of Tonight is the Night, when she say her mama was like, I know you ain't gonna sing that song. She said they eased it right on by her, okay? <laughs> Baby, but anywho, I eased my way right on up in this library. And I'm just cruising around. So the interesting thing about the library, I'm being reminded of it, so I'm going to share. In this library, it was like a lot of shelves, but even inside the shelves, there were like, it was like they had beds, like little bunks. It was bunks in the shelves and books everywhere. And it was a lot of people that was just laying down like they were sleeping in these shelves. And it was nighttime. So a lot of people would sleep. There was a screen where they had a movie playing. Um, and there were, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people that were reading books and some people were watching the movie. Every time I walked past somebody, they looked at me and they were staring daggers at me. They was feeling some kind of way. They knew I wasn't supposed to be there. But nobody stopped me and nobody, you know what I'm saying, like that. But they were like, she is not supposed to be up in here. So while I'm there, I find the books that I'm looking for. And I say to myself, you know what? I guess I'll go ahead and take some courses. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why, why not? I'm here, okay? <laughs> the scripture comes from Jubilees 13 and 4. And he built an altar there, and he offered a burnt sacrifice thereon to the Lord who appeared to him. So here's what God said. And, and let me let me carry on. And he left from there to the mountain with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east and pitched his tent there. God said for somebody, you it's going to be a situation where you were sent somewhere to learn. You were sent somewhere to learn something, regardless to if um, I, I'm thinking about how when I was living off grid, I was learning how to grow food and how to maintain a homestead or like I just feel like you will send some you sent somewhere to learn and it's like you're not really supposed to be there but you're gonna be there and even if it's a situation where the people around you feel some kind of way and they don't want you there god said you are going to pitch up your tent and you're gonna learn the things that you need to learn and that's what that's what it is. That's the message. It may be some people that's going to be mad. They may feel some kind of way. They may have some animosity about it. But they ain't going to touch you. And they ain't going to do nothing. Because in reality, God sent you there. Because he wants you to learn the things that you need to learn. And then after you learn the things that you need to learn, you're going to be up out of there. Gracefully. God said this is going to be done with grace. The Holy Ghost grace. But God said he's going to send you there. You're going to learn what you need to learn. And then you're going to chunk them the deuce. And you're going to go on about your business. And that's what it is. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, see, some people don't realize that even when situations like this unfold, even when it's a situation where God sent you somewhere and you're supposed to learn something, even though the person may be upset, they may be bothered, that does not mean that God will not bless them in the process for them teaching you what you need to learn. Because God, God, you got to understand, when you're doing work for God, regardless of how you feel about it, you could be an atheist. You could be somebody you don't even believe in the word and you do whatever you want to do. And you, you know what I'm saying, highway to hell. You know what I'm saying? God is still going to bless you for helping his child. Now, it don't mean that he ain't going to get you for whatever it is that you got going on in the process. He going to get you regardless. You know what I'm saying? That don't have nothing to do with you helping his child and receiving the payment. And that's just what it is. But um, when it comes down to it. It's really just a situation where for whoever this is for, it is God is saying he's making atonement for you. What does that mean? Let me look that up.
reparation for a wrong or injury okay so and let me see bible definition to repay a debt and to purify so yeah to pay a debt that yeah okay so god is saying he will make an atonement for you it won't be a situation where he gonna send you somewhere and whoever is helping you won't get paid you know what i'm saying and it's regardless to how they get paid it's up to god for some people it's a situation where money is just an object to them they don't really need money like that it don't mean that you know what i'm saying and this could if it's somebody that's rich they don't need money God can pay them in other things. It could be healing that they seek. It could be, you know what I'm saying, maybe you are actually helping while you're there. It could be a situation where they receive other kinds of blessings that they uh, were unexpected. It could be grace. There are all kinds of things that God will do. Sometimes people, they have money, but they maybe they got a court case. Or maybe they got this going on. People, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like when it's a situation where somebody is, uh, you know, a, a blatant sinner and they just simply don't care. And they, they ignore God at all. You know what I'm saying? It's some people every morning they wake up and they feet hit the floor and they trying to figure out how they going to disrespect God today. And when they help a child of God, God said, he, you know what I'm saying? Ease his hand up just a little bit. That don't mean they ain't going to get they just do, but he eases his hand up just a little bit because he is making atonement for you on your behalf. He is paying them on your behalf. Now, if they make you miserable while you there and they are tormenting you and they stressing you out and they trying to make it hard for you and they really don't want to help you and they really don't want it is and they trying to make everything baby understand God will, he, the hand will go back down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. But God said, it's not a situation where you're going to be going around. People may be mad about the fact that you are going to be learning whatever it is that God intends for you to learn for free. But they will be paid for their work. They're going to get paid for their work. They're going to be paid for their work. Regardless as to how they're going to be paid for their work, they're going to be paid for their work. And for some of y'all, this atonement, because atonement means to pay a debt, but it also means to make up for an injury for something that, you, that was wrong. So for somebody, you were wronged in a situation. Maybe God has sent you somewhere to learn before and those people did not want to teach you or they did not teach you well. And maybe they had animosity towards you. They had hate towards you. They could have been angry about the situation. God said he is going to make up for that. He going to send you somewhere else. And the people that he going to send you to, they going to make up for the people that failed you in the past. They, they may have did a you know what poor job of teaching you. God said that's okay. He going to make up for it and he going to send you to somebody that's going to actually teach you adequately adequately you know what i'm saying it's sometimes when people are supposed to be teaching you and they purposely tell you the wrong you know what i'm saying just like even thinking about what i learned with gardening if you are trying to learn to garden and somebody you know what i'm saying they ain't really telling you everything that you need to know and they're not really helping you and they you know what i'm saying trying to keep it to themselves and you know what i'm saying you keep on messing up they're not telling you what's wrong what you did wrong they're not adequate this is not adequate teaching this is you know what i'm saying a very poor job of teaching if it's a situation where you're trying to build a house the foundation is crooked Everybody know it's crooked but you because you don't know how to do a foundation. And they just let you slide. They don't even tell you you need to take that down and you need to do it again. And as annoying as it is to have somebody tell you to take that down and do it again, you'll be grateful once the foundation is together and it's flat. Okay? Anywho. <laughs> as somebody that can help put, the, put together the frame for my baby that... Take it down and do it again. It's not fun. That kicking it down, you're going to have to do that again. It's not fun. But at the same time, I would prefer to have somebody tell me to take it down and do it again than to do it. And then everything is fixed and everything is built. And you can't figure out why the rolling chair keep on sliding down. <laughs> Baby, you try to put the refrigerator through the door and you don't understand why the refrigerator won't fit and why as soon as you put the refrigerator up to the door, it's crooked. You don't understand what's going on. Baby, sometimes it's okay, you know what I'm saying, to have somebody say you're going to have to take that down and do it again. But anywho, 
This for somebody you may have not been taught adequately. Or maybe it's a situation where you were being taught adequately, but they ain't finished teaching you. And they couldn't finish teaching you because before they could finish teaching you, they started threatening you. They started getting very frustrated with you. Maybe they didn't want you there anymore. Maybe they didn't want to teach you anymore. Maybe, you know, even thinking to in this dream while I was at this school, and how all the students kept on mugging me. And they were side-eyeing me. And they was looking at me like I was a problem. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, when you in situations like that, where people have a problem with you learning, it could get, you know, to a point to where they are being violent. It could get to a point to where they are bullying. It could get to a point to where they are harassing you. It could get to a point to where they are ganging up on you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, even though you haven't learned everything that you need to learn, it, it don't mean that now it's a good idea for you to stay and, you know what I'm saying, risk losing your life, you know what I'm saying, while you simply just trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? Even though when we think about it in that sense, it makes sense. But, you know what I'm saying, even from their point of view, it might be like, I had to pay to learn this. I had to, you know what I'm saying, pay my tuition and I paid for this, that, and the third, and you getting it for free? That's not fair. In reality, you're not getting it for free. God is paying for you to be there. God is paying for your classes, God, regardless of how he pay. Like I said, sometimes he'll pay in funds and money. People get money out of nowhere. Blessing back to back to back just because they helping you. And sometimes it could be a situation where, you know, they get paid by other things. Like maybe their health is in poor condition. Maybe they needed help even though they didn't want to ask for help. Maybe they needed help and didn't want to pay for help. May whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Even though you will be learning, it doesn't mean that you're just not going to be doing anything. Because in order to learn some things, you have to actively put forth, you have to do them. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just like, you know, even before I went, I, I moved off grid, I was learning about gardening. I had my little plants in my pots. And you know what I'm saying? That I was growing from seed and I was watching the videos and reading the books and I was doing all of these things. It's I, For years, I was trying to learn how to garden. But it wasn't until I actually got hands-on experience that I can actually say, you know what I'm saying? I'm not an expert. But you know what I'm saying? I know how to grow some stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I'm all right, you know what I'm saying? And every time I look at the videos of, you know, the garden that I had when I was with my ex, my ex-husband, I, I was growing some stuff, baby. I had me some peppers going, some tomatoes, had me some beans, had me some artichokes, had our little tower of lettuce. I had all kind of stuff going on. I even had me some aloe vera going on up in there. So, you know what I'm saying? My little herbs and all that. So, it's not a situation where I didn't learn nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like for whoever this is for, God said, when it comes down to it, he really, he, he really wants you to learn. There is something that he needs you to learn. And you can't move on to your next level until you learn this and right now you are not in a place where you can learn this so he's going to transition you to a place where you will be able to learn this you will pitch a tent and you will sit there and you will learn these things and even though you gonna feel like it's not gonna be a situation where you know what's going on it's going to be a situation where you thinking it's temporary. Like you think you on a temporary, you know what I'm saying, just a week, a few days. Uh, you know what I'm saying, something like that. Like in his dream, I wasn't planning on staying. I was just going to go read the books I wanted to read and get back up out of them. But I ended up reading the books. And as I'm reading the books, I was like, I think I want to actually take a course. Because the book is one thing, but the course is something else. And God said that you are going to want to take a course on whatever this is. And because of that, he's going to pay for you to be able to take a course on this. So you get a better understanding. And after you get an understanding of whatever it is, you'll be able to move on. And I know sometimes when we waiting on God... <laughs> To give us whatever blessing that we wait on. We be like, what in the world is taking so long? Sometimes you simply have not learned certain things that you need to learn. Because if you don't learn these things, you ain't going to be able to really 
adequate, adequately, you know, care for whatever this blessing is the way that you need to. So God is saying he going, you know what I'm saying? You going, you going to have to go ahead and go through some more training. But anyways, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.